there is a first time for everything. Who would have ever thought we would see the day when we saw zero dollar silver? I'm going to explain exactly what that means in multiple different ways as we explore. In our continuing series, this is actually a video that is recorded very soon after the last video I did on this topic about the debt clock in silver. Many people mistaking uh, the fact that uh, this is not a price that we're looking at for a one ounce silver round or silver bar. No, we're looking at the debt clock here. And this is, the, is mentioned here as a price per ounce. But it's a dollar to silver ratio. In other words, it's the amount of these paper or digital dollars for every one ounce of these silver rounds that are, well, silver in the form of material mined out of the ground year over year. Let's take a look at this. When we highlight this, when we normally see uh, an explanation that pops up here on usdebtclock.org, that talks about exactly what it is. And I remember it because I memorized it from doing many of these videos over the course of multiple different years. In fact, if you look at the playlist, which I'll post at the end screen of this video, you will see that I've kept, with, kept up with this for quite a number of years to see the movement of dollars that have been mined, um, or that have been printed rather, um, compared to the amount of silvers that have been mined year over year, silver ounces that have been mined year over year. It's really amazing to see. If you go through that playlist, even just looking at titles, looking at the titles, you can see the the vast difference that you've seen in all of these uh, different videos. And people think, well, this is insane. This something something's not right here. It just seems off. And I understand, but a lot of it is just under having and coming to the grips and grasping exactly what they mean. So I'm going to highlight this now. Let's go over it together. Why in the heck would it be at zero dollars per ounce when in 1913, when the Federal Reserve was enacted, silver was at two dollars and 65 cents per ounce? In fact, we're highlighting this now for the uh, dollar to silver ratio in 1913. So you can see here that it says. The year-over-year -year increase in the U.S. M2 money supply in 1913 divided by the yearly world production of silver in 1913 in ounces. So that's from the USGS, and we've looked at the USGS website. We really don't garner a whole lot of information from there, um, but essentially it is coming from that. They release quarterly reports of it, and so they kind of keep up with that but they also keep up with the M2 money supply. And so when we look at this and we see here that it is a year over year increase in the M2 money supply. So in other words, it's not the amount of dollars that are in circulation now compared to last year. It's the increase over last year's production of dollars. I hope that makes sense to everybody now. And it took me a while to really grasp that because it's the increase in the money supply year after year. This is why it got over to $5,000 per ounce uh, not too long ago during the pandemic. We saw it skyrocket to that. That's the amount of dollars that were being printed for COVID relief, you know, the CARES Act and other things that was done during that time. There was a whole lot of money printed during that course of that time. In fact, uh, we're going to take a look now before we look at the explanation for the dollar to silver ratio now, Let's take a look at the M2 money supply uh, over the history uh, since 1960, at least here that we see. It's been steadily increasing over time. This accounts to essentially, um, you know, the amount of money supplied uh, into the economy. And in really, in reality, uh, during a lot of this time, there, there was a lot. These small little bumps would have been bigger, much bigger back then compared to today when it just is kind of exponentially growing and growing and growing. We first started seeing it here. We say it continued to climb up through the through the mid 2000s. And then looking here, we had the the uh, we had the 
Great Recession that occurred. And TARP, this is all TARP money right here, that increase, which seems like a blip in comparison to what we saw in 2020. And I started tracking the gold to silver ratio, I think somewhere around um, this time, about in 2017, if I'm not mistaken. And you can see it just kept growing and growing and growing. Uh, it's called quantitative easing to infinity. So look at this. Let's narrow this chart now and take a look at it um, over the course. See, I'm thinking now, after looking at this and studying it a little bit more, that the debt clock information is probably correct. So when you narrow this down, let's go down even more, we can see what happened in 2020. And uh, all of that money being printed, and it just kept going on going up at an even greater rate than here before COVID, money creation. Until now, in 2022, we saw tightening by the Federal Reserve, tightening by the Federal Reserve and taking in more money, printing, printing. There's still a lot of money in circulation. That's what this area represents, money in circulation. But there's some of it is being taken out but they're not printing anymore. And some, so it's a shrinking money supply, uh, M2 money supply. And that's what we're seeing here. And finally, now it has caught up to the debt clock. The asterisk tells the story here. Again, let's read this again. The year over year increase. Notice the word increase. It is. I wonder if some people at the uh, Debt clock, the debt clock people have been watching my videos on this because they've highlighted the word increase. The year over year increase in the M2 money supply divided by the yearly world production of silver. That's total silver ounces from the entire world compared to the US M2 money supply. Now the asterisk says the US M2 money supply is declining year over year. That means it went from you know, eight hundred or nine hundred dollars down to one twenty, and now to zero per ounce. Will that number go negative? Likely not. It might just stay zero. But that's the same thing with the dollar ratio, and the gold ratio is down as well too. So let that sink in, folks. That's what it is right now, um, because the uh, for the first time in quite a number of years, we have inflation that is out of control, and they're actually tightening and raising rates. They're going to raise rates again here soon. More tightening is probably coming before it goes the other way. I think it will go the other way because of these last two massive spending measures that have been put into place. And what happens when uh, the, the, the two bills, the Inflate Inflation Act, I call them, and the most recent one that they passed, a $1.7 trillion bill, you're going to start to see uh, this turn around and go back the other way. Because it's going to be a congressional mandate. The Fed will have no choice but to print more money. Because they're not going to be able to get all of that in tax revenue, I don't think. They're going to try their best. They're going to try their best to get the existing cash out of our hands. Which is why they've hired 87,000 new IRS agents to do so. And they're going to come after you and me. We're not the billionaires. We're not the millionaires for sure. But they're going to go after us. Because recent studies have shown that the audits that have been happening over the last few years have gone after the big, the small guy, and they're not touching the big guys. Um, nonetheless, there's where it is. So this is silver, $0 per ounce. Now we know what that means. And I th do think that they're doing their due diligence here. I think this is right. Let's take a look into the future, shall we? Let's go to 2027 and see what happens then. Uh, in 2027, we can see we got a $44 trillion debt here. And... They are projecting still. Well, that's they're still showing it at uh, zero dollars per ounce at in 2027 as well too. I don't know why. I, maybe they just because I think just just updated. I think today. Um, so these numbers may not be updated yet. There's one for a budget showdown 2027, um, and I think that just showing some. I don't know. I don't think that really means or it's going to mean anything to us, but. You can see where that is. Let's go back to 2020. And 2020 does not have the precious metals. Oh, let's see, gold precious metals. Okay, this doesn't have the debt. To, oh, there it is. Okay, there's nothing there. They don't have those numbers. But you do have my videos to go back to to check that in the playlist on my channel if you want to see those. But very interesting indeed. 
So there it is. What an amazing thing to see. Never seen this before either, uh, to be able to see uh, this kind of activity. Uh, wow, uh, what an amazing turn of events here. Zero dollars per ounce for the dollar to silver ratio. Uh, what an amazing time. Let me know what your thoughts are. Again, this is just what they're showing here. And I do think a lot of this has to do with a uh, the year the increase in monetary supply, but understanding that there's still a lot of money floating around, a lot of currency. A lot of this currency, by the way, that's here is not in our hands. It's not in our hands, folks. A lot of this money that's in this area here is uh, in two places, Europe and the stock market. It's on Wall Street and over there. A lot of it is over there and other places around the world. Keep in mind, folks, 60% of all transactions internationally are done with the dollar. That's this thing. So that's where a lot of the money is. It's it's overseas. Um, and uh, uh, But believe you me, when people lose faith in the dollar overseas and in the market, the market goes down, you're going to see an influx of these dollars which means we could still see hyperinflation that could occur if that does happen. But you think about it, even though it's going down here, still way above uh, where it was right here. And even way above where it was right here in the midst of all this. It's insane. It's absolutely insanity. It's unsustainable what they're doing. But alas, they are doing it anyway. And they're trying to cover for it by coming down just a hair. I don't know. What do you think? I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch. They can't do with silver what they've been doing with money, that's for sure. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch and encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and stack.